I never knew he would honor me this way. I never knew he would honor me this way. I never knew, I never knew he would honor me this way. Answer me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I never knew. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Reverend, I just want to thank God for all that He, the Lord, has been doing upon my life and my household entirely. It happened some years back. My first son traveled to Singapore. So, along the line, he stayed there. His paper expired because he went there for a football, but we did not even understand what is going on there that is 419. But when he went there, his paper expired for just three months. Since then, he had been hiding, doing some hide and seek and all these things. And he managed to stay there for six years. All of a sudden, we heard that, uh -uh, Mommy, mommy, I, I, I want to go. I want to come back. I want to. Uh, before I say, okay, let me go to church and confirm before you can come back. Why? Before I know it, he's already used his stand to submit himself to the immigration. I thought this was just a minor case. In the prison, he spent a year. Later from the prison, they deport him. You know? But. When all this thing was going on, somebody directed me to prophet. But when I went there, he said I should stop crying. I should tell my husband not to worry that even my son in the prison is healthy more than us. So I take it that way. The day he came back, I didn't even recognize my son. He was white completely. So, but I thank God for everything. Since then, he was struggling to make move. Even I might say my own trade, uh, I spend all my money, my husband, did, uh, everything, and he travel, they deport him again. Along the line, he stayed at this Nigeria, was trying his friends over there for them to help him out. Just last two weeks, I traveled. He was telling me about it, too, but because of the way things is, I didn't even follow him now or believe what he was saying. But last two weeks, I, I was at the village. I didn't know what is happening. So, I came back last Saturday. I didn't come to vigil on Friday, but I was disturbed in the spirit. I was calling his number, calling to know how things is going on. So, but his phone was ringing, but he was not picking it. I wrote to my husband, I said, uh-uh. I was calling your son, no. The phone was ringing, but he wasn't even picking it. My husband said, ah, let me try. He tried. The brothers, everybody tried. The phone continued ringing, but nobody was picking it. There is confusion in the house. I went on my knee, I prayed. Later again, I tried the number again. A boy from somewhere picked up the phone, and he told me, ah, I beg the owner of the phone, uh, he went out. If he come back, I would give it to him. I was surprised. My husband tried again. The boy picked again. Said, uh -uh, the person is sleeping. I will give it to him. Uh, I cried. I stopped. I remember the group that I joined. I said, ah, I am a special group of bride assembly. Mm. Every Tuesday, I forsake everything that I'm doing. I yeah. went to the presence of Something God to, to do the God. work. Why? Why all this thing happening to me? So I picked the phone, I called again. Before the boy can say, will you say, uh, I say, I beg, I beg, I'm the mom, I'm the mom, I beg, fine, 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 give me. He said, okay, mommy, cool down. I will go. But something came up. I said, what's the problem? He said, ah, your son have a little problem with the police. I said, police again? Ha. I was confused, but God take control. So Amen. after some, some days, I called again. He said, I am there now. I will give it to your son. So when, uh, when my son collected the phone, I said, oh boy, what thing happened? 
You want to kill us here? What is the problem? He said, Mommy, cool down. You just that, that container, that goose that I, I've been telling you people, the, my friend has sent it to. And he said when he was sending it, uh, another Nigerian said that he wants to join his own goose inside the container so that all of them can come at the same time. That he, the, the boy said that he has his own clearing agent. And the container was coming through Kotonou. Oh, I don't know anything concerning container or whatever. Thing. Just different. So after a while, he said that the, the, the people, uh, the, the clearing agent went later he come out and called and say they are calling you people and they go they ask him because the container was sent on his name he say who is the owner of the, this container he say i'm the one <laughs> and they, they grab him and grab the other people and those people was lamenting with french and my son doesn't understand french and the only thing he was telling me that whenever i want to speak english they will become angry so on Tuesday here, the thing happened on Monday, on Tuesday, I come to Chilo. Before, if I come, I would just go straight and wear my garments and go. But that Tuesday, I enter, I prayed. After I prayed, I went out. When I was doing my work, I was communicating with Heavenly Father. I was crying. But I let her be courage. I called Prophet Ibo. He said, he will, he will be here, but he doesn't know when. So when we finish washing, my friend was telling me, some of our sisters, can't you come inside? I said, I'm not going anywhere. You see this office? How many doors did you people see here? I will enter all of them. Today, my problem must be solved. I didn't know that when I was complaining, the angels of special people was They are hearing you. Me. Can we yes. clap for Jesus for yes. special people? Yes. Their angels so, are working with them. As I was complaining, after Prophet Sunday prophesied the nation, Sister Marechi come on. After he called first people, first person, second, I was the third people. In short, for my greatest surprise, I shared tears. And here, she told me everything that I needed to hear. And she gave me a sachet of pure water and said that if I go home that night, I should pray and call the name of my son and smash that pure water. I went home. I did as he said. And I smashed that pure water. He went home. The next day, being Wednesday, at about 11, I tried my son's number. He picked it. He said, Mommy, I am out of that place. Yes, you know? he, he must. Oh. He must. He must be free. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. So he said, he told me that he's out, but he remained only the goose, that he doesn't know what will be the end. I said he should. I told him not to worry. The God that brings you out, the God of righteousness, the God of special group will still do it again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we clap for Jesus?